So, <laughs> I did this yesterday and I chose not to post it because I was looking kind of a hot mess. And I look a little better today and I'm bored and I have time. This is exactly what I said on TikTok. I am bored and I have an, an ass load of time. So, here we're going to go. So, what the fuck is happening right now is, for whatever reason, on Twitter, because we're still going to call it Twitter, we're not calling it X. We we have said on on um TikTok, dead naming is wrong. You should never dead name unless it's Twitter, because fuck Twitter. So, <laughs> however, um, I'm on, like, um, I have this weird Twitter account that correlates to something I had done back when I was super hot to trot for the evil within. I am still super hot to trot for the evil within. Don't get it fucked up. But I was kind of a little disappointed in evil within too. Neither here nor there. Not important to the story. But um, when the evil within the first game came out, they had all those like Sebastian would pick up the newspaper, the Crimson Post. So I started taking the headlines on those Crimson Posts in the game and actually turning them into real articles so if you look on the internet and you type in the crimson post you will most likely find my articles that i had up there so where we're going with this story is on that crimson post account on twitter that i still have that i don't post on anymore i for whatever fucking reason am synced into the metal gear community do not ask me how this happened. I have no fucking clue why an Evil Within account would be synced to Metal Gear. I don't know how that fucking happened. But I keep getting updates from Metal Gear, like, the official, uh, official, on top of that shit, the official Metal Gear um stuff from Konami. And yesterday, they had, like a nine ten minute video on youtube talking about the reboot of snake eater if you don't know snake eater is one of my favorite fucking games on earth see back there that second row it's got the little orangey things like that that's calorie mate back there those are two boxes of calorie mate from Metal Gear Solid 3. So I got those in Hawaii last year. But they sit up there in that Metal Gear row. Because up there is my Metal Gear row. At the top is the Resident Evil row. The little bit of Resident Evil stuff I still have. But that middle section right there. Is all Metal Gear. Most of that is five. Five different copies of Metal Gear Solid 3. I loved that game. That fucking much. I have it five different ways. Two of them. I cannot play because two of them are Japanese games and I and while I have a Japanese PlayStation 1 I do not have the ability to play Japanese um games so actually no it's two it's legit two because I have the 25th year anniversary box set of Metal Gear the entire Metal Gear series sitting up there and I also have it is this ultra rare DVD of MGS3 I forget what it's called, but I have that too. And I, I was like, I, I, if I don't, if I have to, this is happening. And I don't know anybody in America, almost in the world. I don't know who the fuck owns that besides me. So I managed to get that from, um, I forgot where the fuck I got it from. But when I got it, I was still working and like, almost, I, I was, I could have gotten fired that day and I'd have been like, I don't give a fuck. I got my fucking <laughs> rare shit. So, <laughs> fuck you. But, um, that's not what this is about. So, long and story, long and story short of the story is Metal Gear Solid 3 is my all time favorite game. It is my favorite game to this fucking day. It, it, I don't know. Actually, I do know why I love that game. That game took me through every emotion humanly possible. Me and my best friend, and this is back when I would play shit. I don't play video games that much anymore. I kind of just tend to watch them because I just, I don't feel like playing the shit and then getting frustrated. I'm too old to be trying to replay shit over and over to get it right. I have realized that about myself. If I don't get it right the first, like, four or five times, fuck it. I'm not going to play it. 
So, <laughs> with that said, but when when Metal Gear Solid 5, 3 came out, I was like, we played the shit out of the game. Me and my best friend, I went we I went over her house every fucking day from the moment I got that game till we just played it till it died. And I loved that game. So, and it did. It literally took me through every emotion humanly possible. We were laughing. We were crying. We were scared. We were, it, it just, it was that level of fun for, for me. And I like to think it was that level of fun for her. But it was definitely that level of fun for me. I was like, oh, fuck this. Plus, at the time, I was kind of pissed off with Resident Evil. Resident Evil was fucking around with my emotions. But... Now it's back to the inverse where I love Re I love Resident Evil. It's just uh, I'm waiting for the shoe to fall. I'm waiting for it. It's out there. But at the time, Resident Evil had kind of pissed me off. And now the inverse is true. Because like I always say, Metal Gear both broke my heart and busted my balls. And don't sit up there and try to tell me I don't have balls. I'm a girl. My balls are internal. You just can't see the shit. But they're there. So, one of them is hiding behind my uterus, not that you needed or wanted to know that, but you know it now, so there you fucking go. But, um, so, when I heard that they were redoing Metal Gear Solid 3, without Kojima, which we'll touch on in a moment, I'm just kind of like, what the fuck are you doing, Konami? Why the fuck are you determined to shoot yourself in the fucking foot? Like, you do understand you have a whole hashtag that's not a positive hashtag, mind you. The hashtag is fuck Konami. And you already playing in people's faces with this Silent Hill 2 situation. And to a lesser extent, that Silent Hill, whatever the fuck, that free shit that was that came out that I absolutely hated. You already playing in people's face. Why the fuck you playing in my fucking face? What the fuck did I do? And why you playing with my favorite game? And the main part of this is y'all don't have Kojima. Now, don't get it fucked up. Just because I love Metal Gear Solid 3. In fact, I love all of the Metal Gear franchise or Metal Gear Solid franchise up until fucking 4. And that's a rant for a whole ass other day. But independent of that shit, um, you, you cannot have that game without its creator. There's only one robot that can do a Metal Gear, and it is its creator. Because I'm sorry, Kojima is a fucking android. I, you, can, you will never in life convince me that man is not a robot. He's a fucking robot. I know he's a robot. I know if you pull something off of him, it's going to have all his wiring on the inside. So, I am convinced... I am convinced. So, but, or at a low, because there were two people that worked on Metal Gear Solid 3. There was this other dude, and I can't ever remember that man's name, but he was the one that reined Kojima in, because Kojima, from what I remember from when that joint came out, was trying to go there, trying to take that eat standing route where it was just all too much, and it was way too long, and it was like 11 hours of bullshit, and the other dude was like, uh, no, you need to dial it the fuck back. God bless that man, because Kojima desperately needs a fucking editor. So, but even if they got that guy, which I can never remember his damn name. Even if they got him in on it, maybe, maybe, maybe I might bite on it. But I don't want to. I'm sorry. As much as I'm not really a Kojima fan, I don't think you can have a Metal Gear without Kojima. I think... They didn't have David Hater because I saw David Hater was doing something, and I still love me some David Hater. I met David Hater at a con a few years back in Tampa. That was like one of the greatest things in my life. I enjoyed meeting that man. If you ever get a chance, not to segue, but if you ever get a chance to have him tell you the story of the one fist fight that he lost, it is goddamn hilarious, and you need to have that man tell you this story. So, neither here nor there. But, I, for openers, I'm sick of fucking remakes. I know I said this when I was talking about Resident Evil 5 remake. I'm just sick of remake. It's such low-hanging fruit. And I swear I wish you guys would stop begging for low-hanging fucking fruit. <laughs> if not for anything with Kojima, I have to admit he is willing to take a risk. 
I mean, yeah, Eat Standing is gonna have like a sequel, but he's also working on that weird whatever the fuck that was a couple months ago, horror game, where the people's disembodied heads were all like the purple chicken thing ate like a sandwich and it threw up it, that weird whatever the fuck that was. We had such a bad introduction. Don't introduce some shit like that, Koji. Why are you playing in my... Why are you playing in my fucking face? Whatever. Um, I will give it to Koji, but he at least is willing to try new shit. So fucking tired of remakes. It's such low-hanging fruit. Y'all need to demand better, but y'all don't know no fucking better. So here we are, and we're gonna be stuck in remake hell until somebody has the courage to be like... Why the fuck are we taking these damn crumbs when we sh they should be throwing us a fucking uh, Chateaubriand? Not even flim flim flim. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Chateaubriand is the highest cut of steak. You should be asking for Chateaubriand and not fucking around with crumbs. So, <sighs> I don't know. I'll I'll see when they come out with a with a actual trailer that's not just some gameplay or graphic shit. Because I'm sorry, I have said this multiple times at this point, you do not get a passing grade from me for nice graphics. Your shit is supposed, in 2024, in the year of our motherfucking lord, we are supposed to have nice ass graphics like this. Unless the point is the game to be looking a little degraded for aesthetics purposes or at least comparable or uh, goes along with the plot but other than that no your shit is it should fucking look like this and there's no fucking excuse for it like i said unless that's the the thing it's supposed to be in terms of the plot and in terms of the feel and the aesthetic of the game so <sighs> I'm so fucking frustrated with this. And Metal Gear Solid 3 is my favorite game. It is my favorite fucking game. And I don't want to watch this because if it's bad, I am going to be... There is not going to be a amount of rage that will be appropriate to express in public on the internet that I am going to have that is not going to get me in trouble. <laughs> that is going to be a thing because y'all done fucked up my favorite game. So, you on thin fucking ice, Konami. You you already fucking around with <laughs> with the giant fucking elephant in the room that is Silent Hill 2. You should have never had that remade. At least, you should have did the first one first. I'd have gave you play if you did 1 and 3 first and then swing around to 2 and 4. But whatever. Good luck with it. But y'all fuck up my snake eater. I don't even know. It's going to be all bets going to be off. And I don't even want to think about what the fuck is going to happen. So, not amused with this shit. But it is what it is. And I will see. I need an actual viable fucking trailer. And then I'll be like, okay, maybe. But, <sighs> stop asking for crumbs. Because they just going to keep giving us crumbs. Unless somebody asks and demands Chateau fucking Brian. <sighs> Later!